The number one skill everyone listening and watching right now needs for self-defense is the ability to set boundaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's so critical. And this isn't true with just strangers. It's also true in our personal relationships, in our intimate relationships, <laughs> right? So important. Boundary setting. But let's take it to the self-defense realm for a second. What was this at 35? What happened? Oh, I'm going to tell you, but I'm going right. to frame it. Okay. Okay. So self-defense is boundary setting because let's say you're a woman at a gas station pumping gas and someone is walking towards you. You don't know who they are. They might be even nicely dressed. Let's just make it less suspicious. There's a normal looking guy walking towards yeah. you. For a woman non, in that situation. Non-threatening. No, we don't know. We don't I know. Am, yeah, yeah. That's the whole point. A woman doesn't know. But let's say her senses yeah, tell no, her. Yeah. Uh, doesn't feel right. There's nobody else in the gas station. He's moving directly towards her. There's no car next to you. She, there's no store over there. He's not. Where is he going? So if she starts to feel that feeling, the number one thing she must do is turn and look directly at him and say, don't get any closer. Wow. Set a boundary. Stay right there. Yeah. If he takes one more step, I said, don't get any closer. 